how to analyze Likert scale using normality and interpret the results. To do this, we can go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, then Explore. I can just pick the Likert type items and put them in the dependent list. In case we have a Likert scale, I can pick the Likert scale as well. And then I can include the factor list. That is the group in case I'm going to do group comparison. So here I need to move the independent variable, let's say gender. Otherwise I can just skip it. I just want to know the normal distribution. I can go to statistics, keep it this way, continue, go to plots. Here I pick histogram and normality plots with tests. Click continue. For options I can keep it as default and keep both statistics and plots and click OK. And here are the tests. Here you can see sconis and kurtosis. It should not be beyond minus 3 and plus 3. Here it seems that they are reasonable for the first IV. Here again they are reasonable. They are within the range of minus 3 plus 3. So the closer they are to the zero, the better. Then we move to the shapiro welk and kolmogorov Semirnov tests of normality. So here we have the SIG value that is 0 0.000, which is statistically significant violation of the normality distribution of the data. Therefore, these data sets are not normally distributed as conveyed by these variables. So here we can say that the data does not meet the assumption of normality since both the Shapiro work and even the Kolmogorov Semyonov tests are statistically significant since the p-value is below or equal to 0.05. So this is how we can go about the interpretation of normality and see you soon.